G'day, my name's Michael Nelson and this is a short demo of six things that I'm loving about Derby JS. So first of all, the thought about developers. You can see here that while in development mode, if I edit my style sheet, changes are reflected straight away, they're pushed through to the browser. You can see a similar thing if I, in my um, template here, I'm just adding an extra H2, if I save that, it automatically appears there, if I delete it, it automatically goes away. No more switching windows and refreshing, yay. Second thing, um, separation of, of templates and views. So Derby.js is a model view controller framework that we've come to expect. And it's got handlebars like templates, as you can see here. Here I've got a snippet for adding new goal, which if, for example, I added the goal here, I'll just copy it across to save time, hopefully. Um, so I'll add a goal there, and I'll add a second one. Whoops, there's a bug in Derby that I haven't yet dug down to. So here's a second one. Um, it's automatically using that one template snippet. Um, I'll just refresh the page here so it automatically displays. Next, um, the model data is bound to the view. So for example, if I came up here and thought, no, actually, it's not that I want to enjoy playing music. It's that I want to enjoy creating music. I can update that here. And as you can see, the title's automatically updating there. So the view's bound. Now, that's not that amazing. But let's just check this out. If my guitar teacher happened to be um, checking out the same page, um, he had auth authenticated and was able to look at it. Let's just say that he came in here and said, hmm, um, what you actually want to do, what's a good example? I'll add an extra goal that um, you should also do X, Y, and Z. And we'll add that. Well, and it's already appeared on my window there. And he's also going to go and change this goal and say, um, practice your pentatonic scale instead. And that's automatically updated real time over here in, in my view. Um, it's all going through the server and being synchronized um, as we update. Um, second last, the code which is actually doing that, it, it's all the code that's rendering the page um, is the same. It's one and the same code whether it runs on the server or the client. So when I actually hit the server for a page here, it's rendered on the server and presented, which may be quick for an initial load or for searching, for example, indexing. Um, but it's exactly the same code. We can see it here. That's running on the client. Um, the, the route's defined and the route works both client and server and runs in both places. And lastly, it also works um, offline out of the box. So let's just have a look here. Here's um, the, server, the dev server running. So if I um, add a goal while online, you'll see automatically um, it's added there. Now I'm just going to stop my server and add another goal while offline. And obviously nothing's going to happen in the server, but it's automatically added over here. We won't see it over on Firefox. We'll, we'll see nothing. Hmm. Um, but as soon as I restart my server, um, you'll see it automatically comes through and it's synced there. Um, and let's see if it's synced over in Firefox as well. It, ah, I wasn't looking at it. That's why. So if I go back, um, it's automatically there as well. That's it. Thanks for your time.